Welcome back to Kitty Plays The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. <coughs> Last time we played, we got a quest from this nice guy here to find the gold of Fargoth. You know that elf, re remember that elf guy that we uh, found the ring and gave back the ring to? Well, it seems like he has, or our, our Nord guy in, in that house, has lost some gold to Fargoth and wants that gold back. Any time now. And we're going to help him do that. He told us that we might be able to find the hiding place of his uh, by getting up into this, well, into this lighthouse. <clears throat> yeah, I might struggle with some English words sometimes. Also, I'm going to go back real quick because this is also a house that's new due to a mod. And this is the prison cell. Look at that. So there is a fork, a plate, a bucket for, you know, well, if you need to go, a bedroll, the basic necessities. And yes, we will have some little weird quirks due to lots of mods being installed. What's this about? Nothing about you. Just talking about the mods. So let's see the interior of the lighthouse. So yes, we could steal everything here. Well, right now there's a nice lady here. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. So, Nighty, you're new to Sidonine, and you like some help finding your way around. Very sensible. Go ahead, ask away. Looking for services? Some specific place? Someone in particular? Just need a little advice? Whatever it is, I'd be happy to help. Somehow I don't believe her. I'm going to ask for an advice. Some rough customers come into town now and then for supplies. I think they might be smugglers and bandits holed up locally. Be doing a public service to clean them up and might find yourself some nice loot in the bargain. Oh, we need to remember that. So we're not going to rob this woman. I just took the stuff from the beginning. But there's a book, so let's at least read it. Reading is not uh, forbidden. I've gained unarmored skill. Let's head back outside and take a look around. Doesn't this look beautiful? Yeah, no. The graphics of Oblivion is way better, and I might even play some of Oblivion. Well, we're going to wait until nightfall with the T button. It is 1 p.m., so I guess I'm going to wait until 8 p.m., which is 7 hours. There we go. Let's see if we can spot Fargo, leading us to his hiding place. Maybe we should just and sneak which does not work we're not sneaking right now oh there he is back there over here standing there at the house with a little torch let's see what he does come on Fargo don't you want to hide your gold Wait for another hour. Ah, look. Even seems like he's trying to sneak the way he walks. A little crouched. Of course, everyone can see him. I don't know how this Nord missed where he went. I think he's making his way towards his stack. Let's see where he goes. Pausing all the way to see if that no one's there. Sneaky little fella. I hope he doesn't see me up, notice me up here, but usually people don't look upwards. Oh, if you're wondering what kind of mods we have installed, um, I think I'm going to compile a list 
on the website with, which lists all the all the let's plays that I did. And there he is, he entered this piece of water with the tree stump. This looks interesting. Okay, you know what? We should check out that place. First check that he's not um that he's not seeing us, right? And Morrowind, by the way, is not just the first um, Elder Scrolls game that I played, but it's also the uh, one of the Elder Scrolls games that I completed. Skyrim not being in that list. Yes, I haven't beat Skyrim yet. Usually I stop playing before I came that far. So this is also something I want to do. Maybe I'll even join in on the countless other Let's Players. So he's back there. That woman doesn't seem interested at all in what, what happens. And as we can see, this hollow tree stump is something we can interact with. And yes, there is <laughs> his ring, which we're going to put on, another lockpick, and 300 gold, which we're going to deliver to our nice friend. Well, nice. He basically definitely is an outlaw, right? But we don't care about that. Oh, yeah, it was the right way after all. I'm sorry. Sometimes my orientation is a bit messed up. So Beat let's traveler. see what Hariska your Flatfoot your honor, has to say. Don't press your luck. You were supposed to find Fargoth's siding place. Were you able to? Yeah, indeed. You found his hiding place? That's great. Tell you what, I'll give you 100 gold and you keep anything else you found in there. Thanks for your help. There we have it, 100 gold. And I'd say since it's in the middle of the night, we just went into some... Blah. Uh, into, into, into some water. To be honest, let's just have a night Don't of sleep. About. Trade house notice. Here as the general sessions of the peace held for the district of House Flalu at the town of Pilmora on the 16th day of first seat in the year of the reign of our sovereign king Hlalu Athen Lithen, by the grace of all gods, king of Morrowind, duke of Mornhold and Hlalu province, defender of the people and the law, loyal servant of the empire, etc. A real of the port Sedanin aforesaid hath entered into recognize, recognizance with sureties, sureties? De Forest, his majesty's magistrates of peace within the said district whose names are here under written we therefore his majesty's said magistrates have hereby licensed and allowed the said Aril to keep a common trade house or corner club in the house wherein he now dwelleth in the port of Sedanin aforesaid for three full years from henceforth from henceforth next ensuing or till such other time as shall be by us or some of our fellow magistrates thereunto appointed. Ooh, that's very hard to read and it's a lot of text. So basically this says that Aril is allowed to have this to have this place and the rules under Quickly which they up, are. I haven't much time. When I'm going to do the readings I need to read much slower. Go ahead, you're not interrupting anything. I'm Elon, Scout. You need directions. Pelagiad, Pilmora, Caldera, Ebenhard, Vivek. I'm just going to click all of them once and then read them out. Pelagiad is a newly chartered imperial village on the road north from Vivek to Pilmora, right on the western edge of the Ascadian Isles region. The village is right outside the Imperial Legion garrison at Fort Pelagiad. The houses and shops are built in the Western Imperial style and Pelagiad looks more like a village in the Western Empire than a Morrowind settlement. Bilmora is the district seat of House Hlalu and the largest settlement of Vardenfell after Vivek City. Good roads lead north from here to Bilmora, passing through Fort Pelagiad and Pelagiad village. From Balmora roads lead north to Aldrun through the town of Caldera. Maybe I'd better write down the directions to Balmora for you. It's a long walk and a little confusing. 
Caldera is a recently chartered imperial town and mining corporation north of Balmora on the road to Aldrun. The Caldera Mining Company has been granted an imperial monopoly to remove raw ebony from the rich deposits here. Caldera is a new town, recently built in the western imperial style and most of the citizens are outlanders and new colonists. Ebenhard is south on the road from Pelagiad, built on the western shore of the water-founded city of Vivek. Ebenhard is the seat of the imperial government for Vadenfeld district and a busy center of maritime trade. Castle Ebenhard is home of Duke Vedem Dren, the district's ruler and emperor's representative. Also located at Castle Ebenhard are the Vadenfeld district council chambers and the Hawk Moth Legion garrison. The East Empire Company has its headquarters in Ebenhard. Vivek City is south on the road from Pelagiad. Vivek is the largest settlement on Vardenfell and one of the largest cities in the east, built on Norvane Bay, completely surrounded by water. The city itself is a group of giant town-sized buildings called cantons. The Haifane and the Palace of Vivek are visited by hundreds of tourists and pilgrims daily. Outlanders mostly confine themselves to the foreign canton, while natives live, work and shop in the great house compounds and residential cantons. I think that's enough for now. If you we want something, now's the time to talk. I know the way to Balmora. I just pondered if I should talk to the others. So, well, hello, Nighty. I'm Tendra Mandalin. This is Sedanin, swamp fever capital of the world. <clears throat> I suppose you're wondering what's going on here. I can tell you what the services are. There aren't many. And I can tell you the latest rumors, unless you've already heard them. Ooh, rumors. That sounds spicy. I've heard that the local tax collector, Processus Vitellius, is missing. No surprise, really. He wasn't well liked around here. And I'm not going to um, ask everyone about everything. But we'll. F I'm, I'm going to unlock the lore. You're new to Sedanin, right? I'm Reflot the Braggart. I'm sure you have questions. Go ahead, ask. I've got plenty of time. So let's see one thing. How about the services? Get food and sundries from Aril's trade house. That's also where you find anyone who offers training. Not much of else in the way of services in this dumb little squad. Training? What kind of training are you offering? Medium armor, long blade, and block. I don't think I need any of that. I'm not going to be a fighter. She looked like she was offering some training also. Oh, no. She doesn't offer service to the public. Okay. He doesn't offer training at all. Mm. Lady, I want to, you know, rent a bed. Mm. Do I need to ask downstairs? Okay, I'm going to ask downstairs. No, but he sells spells. There is spark, shock damage, father sand sanctuary, resist magic, a fireball, frostbite. Hmm. Doesn't sound all too great. I'm waiting. And she doesn't sell anything. Okay. So it seems like we can't go to sleep. If you can't go to sleep, then I think Watch we should... Who's Watch littering here? Looks like there's p people leaving up their papers around. My Let's patience hear. is limited. And this is also a thing a that you and I are about that's to typical if you have lots of mods close. installed. They override each other and things start becoming a bit weird. So this is Fargoth's house and a mod changed... Like the floor. There's lots of paper laying around here. What's 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 all that about? I have a feeling that you and I are about And all of these papers are empty. Close. It's kinda weird. Oh Eats herbs. Hmm. I think this place is kinda broken. Looks like it. Too bad. 
I would have wanted to check out that place, but there is a basket in the way. And since the items are not physically enabled, I can't push it out of the way. So let's see. Let's head a bit away from the city and check out our magic, shall we? So I think this is far enough. I don't want to accidentally hit someone with some kind of stray spell. So we have Chameleon, which has a chance of 81%. Eye of Night. Fire bit. Oh, our Fire spell already has a chance of 92%. So we definitely want to ready that one. Our healing spell is 84%. So yeah, I've, I've never played a character which has this high, um, this high spell chance. So we need to ready our magic with R and then press the left mouse button to cast it. On touch. Oh, that's bad. Touch is bad. No, no. I want to be able to shoot fireballs. I'm going to take all of these. I want to be able to shoot fireballs because I want... They don't want to be close to the people so they can attack me. No, no. Let's hear it. Say, why didn't? Why don't I see any Khajiit or uh, any other beast races? What, but why don't I see any Khajiit here? That's kind of weird. So let's try to get that fireball spell. That was five points of magicka. And is on target. Thank you. You've piqued my interest. Please share your thoughts. Still 80% chance. You know what? I'm going to check if you have more spells that I can use. Shock damage on target also sounds interesting. And I think the untouch spells are not interesting for us. Okay. So let's try and... Oh, if oh, I remember correctly, there is... I suppose it is my duty to help those less fortunate than myself. Uh, I, I think I remember correctly, there was some kind of bandits hold up somewhere here. So let me check out if I can find them. Okay, to be honest, I don't need to check out if I can find them. I know where they are. So I'm going just to, to head straight to them. But first let's sample the local fungi. I want to learn. Um, so with this character I want to attack people with, with uh, elemental magic. Maybe summon some creatures or something. Create magical shields. And also do alchemy. Right now we're sneaking. I'm dropping it. I wanted to drop a quick save, but we were noticed in like that. You will suffer greatly. Yes. You will seems die. Quite bad. We're not doing much damage. Let's try the shield. And then the spark. We're, we're out of magicka. That dagger is very powerful. We made more damage with a dagger than with the other things. Okay, now let's see a Chetan dagger which has like three to three damage, no. Armor rating one, no. But the key and this. So this game has the thing that it teaches you how to do stuff by um, 
happen in real life. It doesn't teach you how to do stuff. It's more you you um, level up things by using them, but only by using them successfully. So, for example, sneaking. Right now, I am sneaking, but oh, I'm not. Didn't work actually. Um, so when this little icon appears, I am sneaking. But as long as I'm not um, doing rolls on my sneak ability. I won't level it up. So just walking around while sneaking doesn't do anything. I need to walk around close to people that can recognize, that can see me. Can I rest here? No, I can just wait. I need to find a bed. The question is where can I find one? Any time now. Make it Let's quick, hear it. Outlander. Let's see, what is this? This is the trade house again. We couldn't... Can we just enter and use Speak the quickly, bed? Outlander, I do enjoy away. a good conversation. Oh, can he... No, he just says, If you want to live to a ripe old age, buy a weapon and as much armor as you can wear and still run from trouble. Buy a spell or two and practice your skills. Don't practice on citizens. We call that foul murder and we don't like it. But you can kill smugglers and bandits and other outlaws all you like. Outlaws have no rights. Plenty of adventurers make a living from killing and looting outlaws. That smuggler scum down in Edermasartus, for instance. The cave down near the Silstrider platform. Practice on creatures and outlaws and anyone who attacks you first. When in doubt, run away. And if you attack a citizen by accident, don't kill them. Turn yourself into a guard, pay your fine, and clear your name. Or people will treat you like an outlaw. So this is one of the, of the law rules in now this game. I will listen out there, and it's... Quick. No, I can't enter. And it basically says I need to be attacked first. Speak. And it only counts as being attacked first when uh, you actually take damage. So this chapter isn't there in the normal game. I'm, I'm wondering where it leads. Dropping a quick save. It just turns. That's weird. I think it's simply not hooked up I to something. It is my duty to help those less fortunate. I guess it's just to look, to make the town look better. What about these huts? It's locked. And that one I can enter. And I can't sleep in the hammock because it's owned. Well, I don't want anything from you, thank you. I just wanted to check if you'll let me sleep in your bed because I'm really, really tired and I need to sleep. Oh. So yeah, trespassing is not a crime here. But, um, breaking the logs, maybe you can sleep here. You can actually sleep here. That's too funny. Uh, until healed, please. So yeah, you need to rest to recharge um, Magicka and um, Life Force. Such useless creatures. Or you need potions. So let's see if we can use anything against the others. So we have Spark is on target, that's good. We need to hone our magical skills. So we're, I'm going to empty out the Magicka using the Spark... What's seven points here? Yeah, using the Spark spell. What does the shield cost? 15 points, okay. <laughs> so now we're sneaking, but we're not passing any sneak checks because we're, it's not rolled against right now. Uh, 43 of 200 is what we are carrying. So right now I'm going to take as much stuff as I can. Okay. Let's... Let's see. Let's see what's up here. I think... 
think the light and stuff like that doesn't count into sneaking in this game. Okay, this is no gate with a lot left of the 10. Oh, never mind. Uh, we have the key. Ah, uh, that's where... That's where you are. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to set them free. Yes. I'm going to free all of this. Master? No, no, not master. You're free. Let me free these scaled friends also. Dropping another save. Calling forth our shield. Let's see. Or spark how you react to sparkles. Mm. I cannot. Well, yeah, I didn't heal myself. I know. But we have a quick save. Oh, he's still aggressive. That's interesting. Yeah, you can basically. There is no Ooh. That spark is very powerful. did something with us, but it doesn't seem to have hit us. And that did him in. Yay. Wow, I was really tense actually right now. That was way more fun than just hitting them. Yes, indeed. Oh, this rope might look... Ooh. <clears throat> I need to cover this up. There. Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't care about nudity, and yes, I've installed better bodies, um, so there will be nudity if I undress the people. I just want to check. No, that robe looks horrible. And these pants actually do too. should check if I find better pants. Let's drop a save. Was there a way for sleeping up here? Did they, did they equip you with a bedroll? What no, did you ask, Master? Go out, you're free. Well, I think I'm going to drop another safe here. And we're going to see each other in the next episode. Which means I'm going to show you the dice rolling how many days until the next episode. Bye bye!